This question reads, simplify a minus 1 all divided by a squared minus 1, where a is not equal to 1. Now, let us see how to simplify such an algebraic fraction question. Solution. Let us now repeat the algebraic fraction and then try to simplify. So, the question is a minus 1 all divided by a squared minus 1. Now, this entire expression or this entire mathematical question is an algebraic fraction. Why is it so? Now, the reason why this particular mathematical question or mathematical expression is an algebraic fraction is anytime you have an expression with a letter or an unknown or a symbol, that particular expression becomes an algebraic expression. That means there is algebra in it. Now, the algebra is represented by the unknown, which is in the question. In this case of our question, the unknown is the letter A. So here, there is an algebraic expression here, meaning there is algebra here. Since this is algebra and it has a fractional component, that is to say there is a numerator part of this question and a denominator part of this question, this question qualifies to be a fraction. So hence, we have the statement algebraic fraction. There is algebra and it is in a fraction form, so algebraic fraction. So in conclusion, we can now say that this question is an algebraic fraction question. One thing that I want you to note about this algebraic fraction question is algebraic fraction do not come with the equal sign. If any algebraic fraction questions come with an equal sign, it becomes an algebraic equation. That means the way we will solve this particular question without an equal sign will not or may not be the same as the way we'll solve it when there is an equal sign. So let us consider that and take note of that particular part of a question when there is an equal sign and when there is no equal sign. Now that we've been able to clarify why this question is an algebraic fraction, we now have to simplify this particular algebraic fraction question. Now to simplify, I want all of us to take note of one thing. If this is a fraction, now what is the nature of this fraction? This is a single fraction. That is, this entire fraction is a single term. That means that this particular algebraic fraction is a single term. That means there's a numerator over a denominator. Hence, we would have to be very careful and cautious when we are simplifying. What we have to notice, we look for a part of this particular fraction that has the variables exponent or power more than one. Now, if you check the denominator part of this algebraic fraction question, the denominator's variable or unknown or the letter A is having a power of two. That means the power has exceeded one. So it is now liable to factorization. It means that would have to factorize a squared minus 1. That is the denominator part of this algebraic fraction. The numerator has the variable or the unknown at a power of 1. So that will not result in a factorization. In view of this, students must take note that you need to be very good in factorization of algebraic fraction and you need to get familiar with all the types or all the ways in which algebraic expressions can be factorized now with that being said let us now separate the denominator and factorize it so let me bring it here as my rough work the denominator is a squared minus one now if you consider this particular expression they have two terms here that is a squared as the first term and minus one as a second term that makes this expression qualify as a binomial two terms now if there is a square and there is a subtraction sign, it means that we are approaching or we are getting close to difference of two squares way of factorizing this. So that means the factorization that we are going to consider is difference of two squares. Now we have a square, that is the first square is a squared, that is a raised to the power two minus. Now can one be a square? The answer is absolutely yes. One is a perfect square. That means one can be written also as one squared. Since we have two squares with a subtraction sign, 
The subtraction sign can also be called difference. So that means there is difference of two squares. And the two squares are a squared and one squared with the difference or the subtraction in between them. So this entire expression qualifies as difference. That is subtraction of two squares. So difference of two squares. To factorize difference of two squares, you need to open two different brackets. Please don't put any sign in between the brackets, but rather put an addition sign in the first bracket, put a subtraction sign. This is the fastest way to factorize difference of two squares. So you see the terms, now bring them without their powers. So neglect the power on the A, bring A here and bring this one without the power. Repeat the same thing with the bracket, which contains a subtraction sign. So bring the A without the power and bring one without the power. So in effect, you are going to get a plus one in one bracket, a minus one in the other bracket. The other way is also correct. A minus one, a plus one is also correct. That is a commutative property. Now that we have this, if you study very well, you can as well expand to get back the expression a squared minus one. So this is what we are going to use. So it means that we are going to replace a squared minus one with a plus one, a minus one. That is to say, at the denominator, we will change it. So this will become, the numerator is a minus one. We will maintain that part. Then with the denominator part of the question, we will change it now into a plus one bracket, another bracket, a minus one. So this is how it's going to be. That means we have completely factorized the denominator of this particular algebraic fraction question. Now, if you observe this stage very well, you realize that at the numerator a minus 1, there is a similar expression at the denominator a minus 1. So this is what I'm trying to say. a minus 1 at the numerator, you can also put it in a bracket. It doesn't change it. It's still the same thing. Then you come to the denominator a plus 1 in the first bracket, a minus 1 in the second bracket. That means that since you have a multiplication or a product at the denominator part of this particular fraction, you can go ahead and use the numerator, which is a minus 1, to divide a minus 1 at the denominator part. That means they are factors, so they can divide themselves. So I can go ahead and cancel or divide a minus 1 here, 1, and still divide a minus 1 at the denominator also. So in effect, I'm going to now reduce this particular algebraic fraction question into 1 at the numerator. Since there is no number at the numerator, it remains with 1. So 1 all divided by the 1 at the denominator remains with a plus 1 times 1, which is still a plus 1. So this means that finally, the entire algebraic fraction question a minus 1 all divided by a squared minus 1 has been simplified or reduced further into 1 all divided by a plus 1. And this will become our final answer or our simplified form of the question given. So we have solved the question and the answer becomes 1 all divided by a plus 1. Thank you very much and God bless you.